Hello everyone, uh, today we are going to dip some chocolate covered strawberries. It's an all time favorite. There's always an occasion for a chocolate covered strawberry, whether it's Valentine's Day, Mother's Day, or that special loved one. Uh, today we're going to use a, a, a product that, which is called uh, pate glacé. Pate glacé is a type of chocolate which contains um, vegetable fat though. This type of fat allows it to get nice and fluid and uh, once it reaches a room temperature, it allows it to solidify and become solid and shiny. That is an important fact and very easy because uh, if you were to use a curvature, it would need to be processed such as tempering. Uh, it's called tempering where you are recrystallizing the, the fat crystals so that they solidify and become shiny. Pate glacé is a lot different. It, um, you don't have to go through all those extra steps. All you need to do is melt it in a microwave in inc small increments, making sure that you don't burn it or scorch it. It is a type of chocolate and it will burn very easily. S Another way of melting pate glacé is by keeping it in a container in a warm area in your kitchen, whether it be on top of the oven or inside of a dry proof box, in an area where the temperature is above 50 degrees or 55 degrees Celsius and it will melt and stay fluid. You don't want the greens in there so it's kind of good to kind of like tuck them away, tuck them up. And usually I don't dip it like this all the way. I, I just cover the surface, leaving the back clean. I scrape it off. It's still fluid. Scrape it off. I take my garnish. In this case, it's a freeze-dried strawberry. I just dip the corner. I don't dip the whole thing because then it's, I feel it's too much. We're using the white. I'm keeping the back clean. I'm just dipping the corners because I just want to have that little bit of color and that little bit of garnish. Dark chocolate. I think I'm going to sprinkle some on top this time because I don't want to crush. I don't want to crush the little curlies. There we are. This is a candy ginger and sugar. It's, it's delicious to eat just as it is, but I think it goes very well with, uh, with dark chocolate. This will do a super nice little petit four at the end of the meal, or even if you package it up in little bags, it's just fine. It's tender, it's chewy. With dark chocolate, I think it goes very nicely. The candied slices of oranges. These are really neat because <clears throat> these are whole slices of oranges, candied. And again, ch dark chocolate and orange, I think is a wonderful combination. I'm dipping it just like I did with the strawberries. I'm cleaning the, the back side of it. Here we are. It's setting up already. I don't know if you can tell, but in a matter of like within a minute or seconds, it, it begins to set up, which is perfect, ideal. Oftentimes we need to present it on a plate. And um, what I would do is, depending on the occasion, if it's a pink one, I would get a brush. These are some uh, cocoa nibs coated in chocolate with uh, <clears throat> drenched in a little bit of gold dust. Okay, they look like little gold nuggets. What I would do is, I would take my Pate glacé, which, which is colored, in this case it's pink. I would dip my, this clean brush into it. Make sure it's dry. You definitely, don't want to, you definitely want to make sure it's not wet. I would put a generous amount starting off. It's, okay. Then maybe I would take some of these guys, place it on top. Maybe a couple of dark chocolate curls. Just like Bob Ross used to do. A happy little streak of chocolate. There we are. Again, I'm gonna use my little nuggets. You're gonna see it probably a little bit better here because it's a nice contrast. I'm doing it so because I'm going to use this plate to put my strawberries on or my petty force in just a bit. This is a long dish that I filled with uh, shredded coconuts. 
So here we are. I'm going to take maybe one of each. It's important to show a little bit of contrast. I think we're going to put five pieces. And I like this one very much with the, with the freeze dried berries. These are great strawberries. They're really big, actually. We see it all the time. We see it everywhere. Like, you know, this is what it is. Okay. I'm using the dark one. Again, I want to make sure I don't, I, I scrape off uh, the excess because I don't want feet. It doesn't look very attractive. It's not very clean looking when you have a puddle of feet. So it's important to kind of scrape it away. And I'm going to dip my, my chocolate biscotto, just to show a little contrast, okay? And I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put them all on this side, all my finished products, the ones that I'm gonna use for my petit four plate, or maybe a showcase that you have on this side. Uh, this is a kind of interesting cookie too. Um, I think what I'm gonna do with this one is I'm going to dip part of it and I'm gonna give it some stripes. I'm gonna pipe some stripes on it because I wanna show you that you can also pipe it. It's closed on the bottom. I'm going to pour some of my dark chocolate into it. Not too much. Okay. I have my seam here. I, I'm gonna fold it. I'm gonna fold it away from the seam. I wanna tighten my seam away from it, away from it, away from it. Just like a toothpick or syringe. I'm gonna use a scissor, or you can use a sharp, sharp knife. Nice and thin. Oh, I squeezed a little too hard. And I don't know if you see it. Okay. Maybe I do some of my biscotti, why not? It is a chocolate biscotto, so why not? Okay, I think the large one needs to set up just a bit, but we're almost ready to do our petit four plate. Do a little high, something low, something wide, something dark. Okay. A little tray of confections, maybe a biscotto, maybe the candied orange in this case. A little bit further up in the front. A chocolate covered strawberry, we're gonna place it right here behind. The candied ginger, I'm taking the one that's a little bit on the larger side. And I think it's always a good time for a little truffle pop that we're going to place right there. Here we are. These are the items we just dipped using our pate glacé. You can color it. It comes in different flavors, white and dark chocolate. I hope this was a good insight on, on how to use pate glacé and it inspires your creations. Enjoy pate glacé.